Hello, hello. It's Julie Davison and Susan LaCroix. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. We're so excited that you're joining us for today's video. It is Sunday, June 18th, 2023. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where this year has gone. It is just zoomed right by. Um, and it is... I don't know. I thought things would slow down after graduation and it hasn't. It is still just crazy and busy. Mom, how are you doing? Oh, it, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all Happy the fathers Father's out Day. there. <laughs> the husbands and fathers and brothers. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in the next room. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing okay. Uh, you know, we got rid of COVID, hopefully, knock on wood. And um, like you said, you know, we I thought things would kind of slow down <laughs> once we got home. <laughs> Never. No. <laughs> it's crazy. It really is. I, you know, it's like, I don't like it. I want it to slow down. I want, I want to just have a time. You know what I'd like to do? Yeah, I'd like yeah. to go and be by a lake. Yes. Because water is my happy place. And read a book and sit and just listen to the birds sing and not have to do anything that I don't want to do. I don't know if that'll happen this summer, but. That sounds great. Let's book a place. <laughs> I'm all. For I've been thinking the same thing. I'm like, I just want to go for a couple of days and <laughs> just like, just yeah. have like some just some quiet time yes like buy a lake buy some water just like the kids love to kayak and kind of just be out there and swim and um just love to play and yeah we need a little we need a little getaway like that we do let's work on it let's work on that <laughs> the meantime we are also you'll notice that julie and i are wearing the same shirt um inspire create share share stamp it up 35 years yes 35 huh. years we stamp it up and it's crazy uh how much this company has grown oh my since gosh so right? our, yeah so our very first convention together you were pregnant with tom <laughs> that's how long ago this was and we were in las vegas and um didn't canada just come on board it, yes well no no yes. australia australia new zealand mm -hmm. oh i don't know i think it was canada i really do i think. feel like canada was celebrating an anniversary mm. i don't I remember think it was canada because then a year or two later australia new zealand came on board and then we moved to, to europe also uh, several years after that I can't remember the timing. I, um, I I just remember how fun it was and how exciting yes. that time was. And even though Las Vegas was hot and it just, and I, the reason I was thinking about that is because we're going back to Las Vegas in August for our leadership meeting at Red Rock uh, Canyon Resort. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. Again, it'll be hot. But we're in a nice resort, and I yes. plan on staying in the resort. I'm I guess, <laughs> I plan on going anywhere, so um, if I really get the urge to play slots or blackjack. It there's a casino there, so no. <laughs> there's a casino everywhere in Vegas. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure they have them in the bathrooms too. Like <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen one in the bathroom, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Tucked in every nook and cranny, every little corner. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's going to be so much fun to go to Vegas in August. I'm really excited about that. And if you're a demonstrator, this year on stage is going to be virtual again because in March, it's going to be um, live and back in person. Um, and it's going to be a national event in Houston. So everyone in the United States will um, get together in March. So if you're ready to travel with Stampin' Up! and come to a conference and have that energy, then plan for next March. And if you're not a demonstrator yet and would love to come with us next March to Houston, then you should think about joining right now. There's such an awesome deal with the Starter Kit Plus promotion. You get an extra $30 in your starter kit. And it's a great time with a new catalog and so much new stuff to be able to pick out and put in your oh. starter kit. 
including what I'm going to share something with you, um, what we're using today. Uh, we're using some designer series paper. Uh, and the reason we decided to do that is because there are so many different ones that are on sale through the month of June. So we decided to choose one that um, I think is pretty versatile and um, I really love it. And the weird thing is, is that I, I, I saw it in the catalog, but I didn't even think about mm. it because it wasn't, it's not associated with a suite. Yes. So I kind of overlooked it. And so Julie, you were asking me about it. <laughs> of course I have it. I have all the DSP. And when I went and looked, I did have it. So she pointed it out to me and I immediately ordered it. It's such oh. a great paper. Let's turn the camera around so you can show everybody this awesome oh, I paper. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. So it's uh, delightfully eclectic and it is very eclectic. And you'll know when we do these kinds of things that they kind of coordinate with um, other images in the catalog. So you might see some things or they just kind of stand alone. So this is a pack of 48 sheets. 12 by 12, you get four of each design. So I left it 12 by 12 so you can enjoy the glory. <laughs> <laughs> so this one reminds me so much of my mom because she loved swans. Yes. She had the swans up north. So um, this was for you, mom. And then the back side of that is this pattern, which you may recognize. And then there's this fun little tulips. And it's sideways, so let me flip it. Isn't that sweet? I just love it. So it's that's got one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, crushed curry, uh, basic white, and it looks like bubble bath in there. And the uh, um, well, there I think there's night of navy and um, what's the other dark blue? Uh, misty moonlight. moonlight. Yep. The back side of that is some crushed curry dots. That's a fun one that kind of can coordinate with a lot of stuff. And then there's some stripes in all the different colors. So again, very versatile. And the back side of this are upside down pretzels. So there is a stamp set that has a pretzel stamp in it. That would be a good trivia thing. What stamp set does that go to? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called like so cool or something like that. I think you're right. This is the actually the B side of this, which whew, I love this. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you could just cut this up, and you've got like a pattern with kind of like a circle there of all the different colors that are in here. And this is another pretty one. I think this is freesia, right? Fresh freesia. Yep. So that's really pretty. And then the back side of this is this um, pattern. Don't even know what to call it, but it's fun. <laughs> this is also the B side, but I love this paper. I'm gonna stop here real quick. We had this paper in another set and oh, it was so fun to work with. So I was glad to see that. We've got a couple, we got one that's in white and one that's in this vanilla background but this is like the misty moonlight and some vanilla i think this is a really fun pattern again so versatile oh love this i'm not really a pink person but i love this paper I absolutely love it and this kind of goes with well there's several sets that have flowers in them so you can really use this with a lot of different stamp sets and then the back side is this beautiful bubble bath stripe Again, I mean, you could even put that together. Some crushed curry background with some white. It almost looks like you took a paintbrush and just kind of daubered the white on there. Mm, it does look like that. And then the back side here are some little teeny tiny flowers. And then this one is some strawberries. Um, is this sweet sorbet? Um, I was thinking it was Calypso Coral. Oh, I bet you're right. It looks more Calypso Coral-y. You like that fancy term? And then another little <laughs> trick um, piece in the bubble bath. 
And this is a fun one. I almost used that today. Um, there's a, a stamp set that has like a typewriter, I think. And, um, oh gosh. I so It's called that. Just My Type. Just My Type. Well, there you go. So this would certainly <laughs> coordinate with that. And there's enough letters going throughout here. So you could like, you know, spell things out and lots of fun stuff you can do with this one. I almost used it. And then the backside, look at this with the hearts. So cute. If you look closely, some of the hearts are colored. Yes. Bubble bath. Can you see it? Can you see them? This one here. I can see it because I know what I'm looking for, but I think it's hard. Yeah. They, I think when you point them out, you can see better. Yeah. Just kind of scattered throughout. Okay. So this next one is so me. I can't stand it. They... <laughs> Day. It is so you. You are right. My favorite flower. And it, I just love this paper. I wish I could just buy a whole pack of just this image. <laughs> and the back side of this are some lemons on some stripes. I think these are lemons. Or leaves. No, I think they're lemons. I think they're lemons. There's that citrus set in the catalog with some diagonal stripes in this one. And this is, I like this too. So you'll see more of this with my project. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> so in this one, we have, um, this coordinates with the punches from, um, oh, we just used it. T inked and tiled inked and tiled yeah yeah so yeah so that's a fun one and then the back side is that other like lined accounting i don't know what you call this design but again so much like fun. ledger paper yeah ledger paper thanks jay yep that's so that's it that isn't this paper fun it is very eclectic <laughs> i love it and it's such a jumbo pack because you, like you said, you get four sheets of each pattern. So it's like four packages of paper in one. Yeah. And it's on sale right now for like 25 bucks. Woohoo! <laughs> that works out to per sheet, 48 sheets, you know, 25, but yeah. I, I'm not mathing well today, so I'm going to. I don't know. It's a big one. It's a good one to share with a friend. Oh, it sure is. It sure is. Well, Julie, are you ready to share your project? I am ready. Let me start by showing you a couple, excuse me, a couple samples um, that I've made with this paper. This one using that patchwork pieces die that we shared. Um, and I mixed up some of those patterns. And then here's one using the crafting for you bundle. I just love these colors together. And then the last one I just made on Thursday night using that just my type that you were just talking about. Uh, and I colored a few extra hearts just to kind of tie in um, the colors together. But I love that it just coordinates with so many different stamp sets. And so um, the stamp set that I decided to use today is the Good Feelings um, greeting stamp set. This is one that carried over. So you might have this one already. Um, but I, I love the sentiments and, um, the, I, my card is actually pretty simple. Um, but I have quite a few samples showing you all the different patterns because it could decide there were so many great combinations of the, um, the patterns. And so for my cards, I'm using these rounded, um, rectangle dies. There's four different sizes. This is the nested essential um, die set and such a good one, especially for a sentiment stamp set like the good feelings. So if you don't have this already, definitely you should add this to your list. 161597. Um, and I, I've been using and reaching for it so much. I just love that the shapes are a little bit different, you know, than we've had before. It's not just like circles and squares. We've got some, um, banners and then these elongated hexagons, which are, um, really fun too. So, um, on all of my samples, I've used the rounded rectangles and I've used the sentiments from the stamp set 
Um, and so you'll see how easy this is. And I hope that this card layout inspires you um, with whatever stamp set, whatever designer paper you have at home. I think you'll be able to um, make a bunch of cards like this. So I've got some measurements written on my post-it notes today. Um, I, I do have, because I'm using Knight of Navy for my card base, four by five and a quarter to put on the inside. But I honestly don't have anything planned for the inside. So what I will plan to do is just write a really long message to somebody and take up the whole space with writing. Um, and then on the front, I've got a layered piece that is three and three quarters by five inches. Um, sorry, this lighting. I, I struggle sometimes with the lighting. Uh, I think it's so bright, too bright sometimes, not bright enough other times. So I can never get it right. Um, and then designer paper, this is that uh, delightfully eclectic, two and three eighths inch by four and three quarters and one inch by four and three quarters. And so you can mix and match these. This one is a vertical pattern, but you could cut it and have it go the other direction. I'll show you a couple samples like that. So two pieces of designer paper and then um, a die cut piece. I'm using one of those rounded rectangles. That's two by two and a half. But you can use any of the die cuts and you can use any size here. And again, I'll show you um, in some of the samples. So I'm almost embarrassed because this card is so easy, but I hope that it is inspiring because it's so easy. I'm going to do a quick tear apart because <laughs> um, oh, I, sh I should have just left it. But um, <laughs> I know sometimes when you close a card, like, do you see how the short end is on top and the longer ends on the bottom? That drives me crazy. I like to have it be the opposite so that that the front is the one that's going over the edge. So I just, I'm just going to switch it so it's the other way around. That's probably too detail oriented, <laughs> but, but, but I'm, I'm just picky like that. All right. So we're going to put this designer paper on. Um, and it happens that I'm using the back-to-back -back patterns, but you can mix and match um, all the different patterns. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna, I, I'm trying to do opposite of one that I did earlier so you can see how it can go both ways. So I'm gonna have the bigger um, pattern on the right and the smaller one on the left. And so I'm just kind of evenly spacing these and, um, for some reason, this one is not straight. Now, when you have a, a very simple card, I feel like you just notice and see every little detail. So I find that I'm even more of a perfectionist when, <laughs> when it is simple. I'm going to layer this on the front of the card. And, um, and then we're going to stamp and add our sentiment. And I have got Knight of Navy ink. Oh my gosh, that almost was a disaster. <sighs> and oh, I love the way the white label pops against the darker um, designer paper. I will show you really quick one sample where I had a white background and so I chose to do a fresh freesia label instead of the white label so that it would pop and stand out a little bit more. So we're going to add this on with some stamp and dimensionals. Now if you wanted to you could add some ribbon behind the label. You could add some embellishments um, and I was kind of on the fence about embellishments to add um, and I, I brought out a few I, I tried to just pull some out of my box really quick to to decide if I wanted to add some um, some embellishments. I thought just like a couple dots maybe, but I don't know. I also really love it, it's clean and simple, and just and just plain. What do you think, Mom? Well, you know I love my bling. Um, so <laughs> I would vote for maybe some of the little, the small, very tiny, small ombre dots. Um, and just put them around maybe the thank you. Okay. You to put them on the designer series paper. Are you thinking then the blue ones? Yes, I am. Let's see what we think. So we have Calypso Coral, Old Olive, Coastal Cabana, 
and then navy. And I honestly, I wish that these dots would be, um, I wish that they, they would all be the same color. <laughs> like it kind of <laughs> drives me crazy. Um, you know, like I want them all to be dark. I don't yeah. necessarily, but these lighter ones, like this is almost like a boho blue. We've got like misty moonlight kind of going on here. So I guess that works out that it coordinates with. It does. Coastal cabana and more yeah. like pool party. Um, all right. So what do you think? I like it. That's the one. I'm, the third one is always like, always the fine. one. It's fine. Right there. Right there. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the alternative um, designs. Because like I said, I just couldn't decide with these gorgeous papers. So here's one with your favorite paper. <laughs> I use the bigger label here for the sentiment. These are all from the same stamp set, the Good Feelings um, stamp set. So I've got the thank you. I've got your On My Mind and In My Heart with Petal Pink and um, uh, the crushed curry polka dots and then this one oh. i'm just so happy for you this is also the largest of the um rounded labels and then another vertical one i did the hip hip hooray in um the bubble bath and calypso coral ink so i've got to come back and um i gotta add my bling to these and um and zhuzh them up a little bit I really love, some of these are my favorite, the white sequins. They're like just a little bit, especially like on this. Yeah. I can totally see just a few of those white sequins because we have more of a solid, um, yes. more of a solid color um, designer paper where it's not going to get lost and it just kind of adds a little, right. a little sparkle there. Nice job, Jay. I like them all. Thank you. Well, I hope that you guys are inspired by this easy layout and that you are also inspired to get this beautiful, delightfully eclectic designer paper. And you can see all the different ways to use it, all the different occasions. So let's turn the camera over and you can share your project. I'm really excited about this one, Mom. I think this oh, is going to be amazing. A lot of fun. All right. So I, I actually have two cards. They're going to look very similar but I'm doing two different things and I couldn't decide which one to show. So bear with me. I'll try to go kind of fast here. So the first one is that it's our typical eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of garden green that's five inches by four inches. And then on the, this one is going to be a little bit smaller. It's eight and a half by four and three quarters. And it's also scored at four and a quarter. And then my smaller garden green is four and a quarter inches by four inches. So those are basically my measurements. And I am using this paper for both of them. And as I mentioned before, they fit these punches from the tie inked and tiled that we, I think, shared last week. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to do a bunch of these, but I just want to show you, you know, just how easy it is because they are a perfect fit. I love when Stampin' Up! has punches or dies that coordinate yep. with designer paper. Yep. So that's, um, I'm not going to do any more because you'll just be bored sitting here watching me um, <laughs> punch. And I already have them. I have a bunch of them punched already. Okay. So I'm going to slide these over and put this one away. So for this one, I'm going to move this out of the way. So we'll just focus on this one right now. And I'm going to use my little garden green piece. And I'm going to lay out my tiles on my to make a little quilt. So I'm just oh, I love that. These out first. And I I will confess to you that um this was um a challenge to try to glue these down and, and get them to butt up right against each other. Mm. So I finally just thought about um, what you did last week. And I find that that really worked very well. And so I will just, we'll do a little refresher course on that. So I'm just going to lay these out. So I know where I want different patterns. And so this one's going to go here. And then these will go here. All right. 
So there we go. So a few extras. And I'm going to start up in this corner and bring out my dimensionals. And just start this like right, right about there. And then on this one, I am just going to put a little, and I also was using some liquid glue and decided for this, uh, this seems to work better. So what you can do is kind of tuck these kind of, you know, against each other. And so that you get a good um, um, match, not match. They butt up against each other better, I think. Okay. And then we're going to come down here and put this one on. I was smart. I would have had one all done. So I kind of do for the next step. But you can bear with me and then we can just chat while we're doing this, right, Jerry? Yeah. So did you say you were using liquid glue or you find the seal is better for this? One? The seal is better for this one. No, that doesn't, didn't quite. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Behave yourself. This was, I mean, this was kind of a fun little card. I have a couple samples. One I got is a swap card. And one that I, I made is a swap card, which Julie will get a sneak peek because she's getting one of them. Ooh, I was just going to say, I don't remember you using, I was thinking your crew swaps, but ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this one gets the, yep, absolutely. Yeah, the crew swaps, I got some nice cards. And, you know, we were all kind of uh, in the same boat because we had our pre-orders um, and it was so mm. fun. order. I just didn't have time to come up with anything. I wanted to get my swaps done. I didn't want to be yeah. last minute trying to um, be making cards. Why is this not behaving? I don't like this one. We just need to do a little Zoom um, so you can show me your... Oh, yes, cards sometimes. I would love to before I put them on my board. Unless you happen to be coming this way soon. I want to. I keep thinking we just need to figure it out. But with travel softball through the end of June, um, it's just so hard. And we need to get clear. We need to get clear work and we need to find her a job, which is going to complicate travel. Sure. Um, a little bit because um, yeah. I, well, I want to point out one more thing. Um, this bracelet is um from Stampin' Up, Inspire, Create, Share, which is our tagline, and this also uh is for like our thirty fifth anniversary. Do you have this, Jewel? I actually didn't get those bracelets. Oh, it's so good to see them in person. Though, were there two colors, or was there just one? Oh, just the one color. I've, I've got. got Yep. Okay. So this is what this piece is going to look like so far. We're not done yet. So I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to bring out this next one. And so what I did here, because if you don't want to go through all that punching and, um, you know, putting it all together, you can just cut out a piece of the designer series paper, and then you could just do some trimming. So I'm going to just cut and again, I'm not going to do this whole piece. Well, maybe Couldn't she just punch the the pink piece out? But you know, I guess I could have. <laughs> well, I, I was playing earlier, so that's how I came up with this. But yeah, so I mean, it, it, they're all straight lines. So it isn't like your... your um, yeah, but I know a lot of people don't have that punch pack, so... Well, right, fussy, exactly fussy right. cutting yeah that's yeah. the way to go yeah, absolutely as you all have scissors i know that <laughs> so again this is just a real quick um little trim here and 
Hopefully it's catching on me. All right, let me just flip this over and go the other way. All right, so now that you, we have this part done, ta-da, there it is, right? So what I did then is I went over to my uh, stamp and die cut in emboss machine. We don't need these on here. And I chose this embossing folder that has, it's from that um, online exclusive, the three. Um, Basics 3D. Yes, thank you. And <laughs> like little flowers in there. I don't know how well you can see it with the white. Probably not real well. I kind of see it. Well, so that's, no, that's one of three embossing folders that come in that package. Exactly. So this is what they look like once they've been run through the embossing folder. Ooh. And quilty. Of course, I had to do Yes. That. So that is how, um, how I did it. So let me get these out of the way. And I didn't even think about in that embossing folder for the quilted look. That is so perfect. I thought so, too. So um, on this one, oh, wait a minute. Where's my... Oh, uh, well, oh, here, I'm going to use this piece. Never mind. So I, I didn't uh, emboss the green with this. So I just wanted to, uh, we'll get these cards put together real quick here. Oh, we'll put stringy stuff here. So I'm going to put this on here. And then this on here, like so. And then for my greeting on the inside of this one, I've got heartfelt love and caring. Now, why I did the front one and I didn't do the inside one beforehand, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make sure I'm not upside down. All right. What stamp set are those greetings from? So this one um, that I'm using on the taller, bigger card is Wonderful Thoughts. Oh, that's a good one. I don't think I have that yet. Ooh. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to flip this over and put our little thinking of you in my bone folder to get a good crease. And so then my question will be to you, so be thinking about it, is bling. I didn't bling up my sample yet. Hmm. I don't know. With the quilted that's what I was bossing. Like I I would love to see like some linen thread or something like that. Baker's twine, I mean, not linen thread, like a baker's twine. I feel it sort of lends itself more to that like you know, sewn like stitched behind here. Yeah, you could either do a bow or you could do loops behind there. All right. Where is my white? I should have had it out because I thought about it. I use white baker's twine so much. Sometimes I feel like I should just have it around my neck when I'm crafting because I, <laughs> I always just reach for it. Like I know I have an open spool somewhere on this table. But um, I'm just going to shove this here for now. You know, I'm just, I think I might move this up here. But you're right, this white linen yeah. thread will make a nice little bow.
that just makes me want to curl up and, you know, like just curl up and snuggle under a, a, a warm quilt under a blanket and just. You know, the blankets that you made for Christmas or the kids made. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bella loves it. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I was wearing it. I mean, I had it over me one evening. It was a little on the chilly side. And uh, <laughs> then I got up to do something and I <laughs> and I came back and she was all curled up on it. I oh. just heart to say, give me that back. Right. <laughs> I oh. love it. Those we just did, um, they were fleece, like the Thai um blankets, and it was so great. I love that the kids put one together for each family and our family. Um, and they had so much fun picking out the patterns of the fleece to do that. So we got two sides. There was like a front and a back. Oh, I love the way that turned out, Mom. That's so pretty. Okay. Well, let's finish up this other card. And I'm going to find my card base here. So on this one, this is going to go, I want to go this way. So it's going to go this way. And on the inside of this, I am stamping from, and this one's from Quiet Meadow. So I've grabbed another stamp set to do the next card. So Quiet Meadow. Oh, I'm nice. Using the, um, you know what? I This was the, I used Quiet Meadow on this one. The Thinking of You. My apologies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, this is Wonderful Thoughts for this one. So I'm using uh, um, the So Happy That You Are My Person for the inside. Oh, I like that. And oh, I transferred some ink. And then on this one, so let me get this on here. I feel like I'm taking so long to get these cards done. Oh, it's fine. This is such a great idea. I love it. And I can't decide, like, I love the ease of just using the paper, but I also really love the look of the individually punched pieces. That's why I'm showing balls because it was like, I yeah. can decide. I think I'm done with this. Now, for my greeting on the print of this, I stamped, you're wonderful, you're loved, you matter. That's all one stamp set. And I, I cut it up. Oh, okay. So you're wonderful. Period. Come up just a little bit if you can, so we can see. There we go. You are loved. You matter. Oh. Okay. Oops, that's not straight. It almost doesn't matter, I guess. Now that's a little better. All right. So then for placement, I'm using the small dimensionals. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting your wonderful here. You matter over here. Oh no, yes, I, I think I did it here. You are loved. Aww. So I think that's what I'm doing. And again, um, I don't have any embellishments on here because I don't want to lose sight of the yeah. Quilt. But what I was thinking, I don't know that I'll do it though, is I, you know how some quilts have buttons. Oh, yeah. So I brought out these flat pearls. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I'm not sure I buy those as buttons, but I like the thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like you need to like use a sharpie to do little dots to make it kind of look like a button uh, but you know when you said buttons I thought of the die cuts in the crafting for you bundle there are button die cuts in there 
But aren't they big? I think they're really little. Oh, are they? I don't I have, think so. I don't have that bundle. What? You don't? No, I don't. I keep looking at it. I think the dyes are, um, I think they're not available right now. Oh, well, they're not. I was looking. So for you must be the only one who doesn't have it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Oh, I love so, it. You matter. So happy that you are my person. In thinking of you, heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you. So this is a this or that. Mm, this is hard. So this, just the one piece that I quilted like that, or the punched one, the smaller one. So this or that. So I would absolutely love to hear from you all and tell me what you think. There you go. Let me show you a couple samples that I did. And well, one I got and one I did. You move this out of the way. So this is the one I did for the swap, Julie. Oh, so sunny and bright. I love it. And I went, I went over my three and did five. <laughs> as long as it's odd, you're good. <laughs> And then I just embossed this on crushed curry in white and took some of the, the ribbon. And then nice. I put a little flower on the corner. So that's coming your way real soon. And then this one, Yay! the swap from Lena, Lena Gearser. She's from Cambridge, Ontario. Ah. And I love this. Ooh, yes. That girl, I don't know how, look at all the die cutting she did. Oh my gosh, that's oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. I just love it. She doesn't have anything on the inside. So, but I'll forgive her because this is. Wow. Just, yeah. Oof. But anyway, so those are the two that I have for now. I and, love this paper. Like you can just do so much with it. Yes, you can. So, all right. So now before we flip our cameras, uh, we need, uh, we're doing something special next week. Yeah. Let me, um, I, well, I was thinking we were going to do our cards first, but it makes sense to just do the, um, the desktop. So let me uh, add mine in here. I have to turn on my light again. So next week we're going to do a mystery stamping um let me add i'm gonna do a side by side there okay. we go um so next week a mystery stamping we're so excited we love doing these with you and we hope that you um will cut your cardstock so that you can stamp along with us we will be featuring the textured floral bundle a new one from the um, annual catalog but we chose this one because we think you can probably use whatever flowers you have at home i'm sure you've got some flowers at home so if you want to you can use the same one that we are using but otherwise just cut your cardstock and cut your pieces and um and get ready to stamp with us so this is going to be next week on sunday june um 25th <laughs> to look at the calendar june 25th we're going to do a stamp along with the textured floral bundle um we'll have all of these measurements in the video description as well but we just wanted to do a quick pause here in case you want to do a screenshot or jot them down so that you have them at home and um yeah just a um, few just a few notes for my project uh my measurements are really quite you know standard and simple um, but what I would re recommend, regardless of what stamps that you use, there, there's to pre-stamp, you know, um, stamp and die cut the images you may want for your um, the front of your card. That yes. that's my little and my mom, little tip. How, how many images would you suggest for your card? Would should oh, they? Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five. I I've done five flowers on mine. Okay. Um, and you can see the different uh, sizes on the stamp set. So um, these are what I used. Um, 
So if I want to get real detailed, I used one of those, two of those, two of those. <laughs> okay. But it just, it might help so that you're not trying to scramble and keep up if I'm, yeah. you know, I, I try to go slow. So uh, Jules, I've noticed that on yours, you have the same thing, pre-stamped die cut images. Yeah. Um, so if you want to stamp some images ahead of time so that you can just work on assembling along with us, the images that I'm using are um, these two, which layer together. So some kind of, you know, flower with leaves and stems. And then um, I am using the middle size flower. And I did die cut one of the detailed leaves. I think it was this one. So um, just some just some flower images, a few um, to layer. And if you're like me, like this is this is how I design and stamp sometimes. I just like do a whole bunch and I have yeah. them ready to go. And then I can just like mix and match and put them on my project. Um, and so if if that's how you operate too, just do a, just stamp up a whole bunch and just, you know, see see where see where it leads you. See, see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we wanted to share that again, as Julie mentioned, we will have all of this information in our description uh, for this week's video so that you can be prepared for next week. Yeah. Well, right. let's, we let's flip the camera around and we'll show off our cards from this video. Oh my gosh. So many patterns with 12 double-sided designs and delightfully eclectic. There is something truly for everybody. So well, I hope that the cards that we made today inspired you to use this designer paper. If you don't have it already, it's on sale 15% off along with almost all of the designer paper in the annual catalog until the end of June. So you've got a couple more weeks, two more weeks to, get, to grab up your favorite designs um including this one that's right so again uh this or that <laughs> you know what you're all right so until next sunday stamping sunday mystery stamping yes enjoy which sunday stamp along <laughs> which may not be so much of a mystery really since we pretty much do what we were doing and what we were using so all right so anyway until next sunday stamping have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, Mom. Love you. Bye. Love you.